Hello there and welcome to this 60 minute slow flow. I'm so happy that you're here. Day three of the yoga challenge if you're participating. Um, it's been a really great fun time so far. So today um, you'll just need a block if you have one, maybe two if you have any lying around. You can also use like cans or anything that resembles a block around your house. I'm all about using stuff that you already have. So if you want to go ahead and grab that now, you can and just come into your seat. So every Thursday, if you haven't been in my class recently or at all, <clears throat> every Thursday I like to do a Lectio Divina practice. So today we're going to be focusing on Psalm 23, 2 to 3 from the Passion that we've been kind of discussing over the last or been meditating on this last week. So if you want to go ahead, um, I want you to try to sit up. So if you're laying down, that's totally a okay. But if you want to try a seated position, you can just come into your seat with your legs crossed. You can bring a blanket right underneath your tailbone or a pillow, or you can um, come into a hero's pose and put a block right underneath your seat. So just kind of finding whatever is comfortable for you here. Wherever you are, see if you can maintain that straight spine. Just come into your breath here. Maybe bring your hands onto your heart. yourself together here. Roll your shoulders down your back. Begin to breathe deep and full. Coming into this sacred space that you're creating. Allow this Lectio Divina to wash over you. You yearn to connect with God in a deeper way. You yearn for peace that only this deeper connection can provide. So today, let us pray with Psalm 23. We'll pray in the Lectio Divina way, which is praying with the scripture and allowing the presence of the Holy Spirit to pray through you. I will repeat the Psalm four times, and after reading, I will guide you and help you tap into an and in a way perhaps you have never heard before. So finding your comfortable position where you can be attentive and relaxed. Coming into this present moment, feel your body, relax in this space. God, we open up our time, we come with gratitude. We come with open minds and hearts willing to receive from you. Allow the Holy Spirit to speak through these words of scripture and into our entire being. He offers a resting place for me in his luxurious love. His tracks take me to an oasis of peace quiet brook of bliss. That's where he restores and revives my life. He opens before me pathways to God's pleasure and leads me along his footsteps of righteousness so that I can bring honor to his name. Allowing yourself to just be here in this sacred space. Simply breathe with those words and notice if a word or phrase may have struck you or is stirring in you now. Simply let it rest in your heart as you hear these words again from the NIV. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He 
refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Allowing God to refresh your soul. Allowing this scripture to sink deeper, like fresh water on dry ground. What is the spirit revealing to you? Is there an area of your life that the spirit is speaking into? Allow these words to form within you. How do you want to respond? He makes me lay down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Or do you feel the invitation of God inviting you to go deeper, trusting, committing your way? Receive these words one last time. He offers a resting place for me in his luxurious love. His tracks take me to an oasis of peace, a quiet brook of bliss. That's where he restores and revives my life. He opens before me pathways to God's pleasure and leads me along in his footsteps of righteousness so that I can bring honor to his name. Take a few moments to reflect on this prayer time. Notice if there is a word or a phrase that continue to stir in you, or do you feel the, whole, the leading of the Holy Spirit? Simply notice it and tuck it in your heart pocket. Take that with you, whatever moment that may be, whatever that invitation is. Simply receive it, as the Holy Spirit is truly doing a work within you. your hands on your heart if they're not already there. Take one more big expansive breath here. And then open the mouth and sigh it out. Gently make your way to your tabletop, removing your block or any other props that you may have. Spread your fingers out wide. Take your knees about hip width and maybe just kind of rock your hips back and forth. Finding that gentle movement. Maybe close your eyes. Usually every Thursday I offer a Lectio Divina and I offer a little bit more silence. It's a little bit more less beginner and more challenging poses. So just listening to your body here, kind of going to where you need to go, knowing that you can always take child's pose if you need to. Make your way to your cat and cow whenever you're ready. Reach, reach your gaze towards the sky. And bring your chin towards your chest.
finding about four or five of these at your own pace. And as you move, breathe deeply. As you breathe, soften your face and your forehead. Staying in your cat and cow if you would like to, or just come into that side plank pose. Bump that left foot off the mat a tad. Root down into your left palm. Reach your right arm back behind you, and then just roll that right arm up and over, facing the front of your mat, and see if you can really peel your heart towards the sky. Spread your fingers on your right hand. Flex your right foot. Coming into this sacred space. Big breath in, and then exhale, gently make your way back to table. Whenever you're ready, make your way over to your other side. Extend that left leg long. Root down into your right palm, reach your left hand high. Bring your left hand either, you can reach it up towards the sky or bring your bicep by your ear, just breathing into that side body. So lovely. Mill that hand down and make your way to child's pose. Take your knees out wide, bring your toes to touch. Big breath in, expanding the chest and upper back. And then exhale, let it go. Finding a few breaths here. Allowing this scripture to wash over you. Every, um, we've been really focusing on Psalm 23, two to three, and I've kind of picked out different words from there to focus on each day in the challenge if you're choosing per to participate this week. And this word today is love. So Psalm 23 says, may he remember every gift you have given him and celebrate every sacrifice of love you have shown him. Pause in his presence. Taking that pause in his presence, lingering in his luxurious love, taking a few breaths here before we find our flow. <clears throat> You make your way into your downward facing dog, knowing that you can take <clears throat> sand child's pose for as long as you would like to. In your downward facing dog, just pedal out the knees. Maybe rock side to side. If you've been practicing yoga for a while, a little bit, walk your palms towards the top of your mat, really lengthen out your dog. So kind of make it a little bit bigger been really practicing moving from plank to downward facing dog. So see if you can come into your plank. Also, if you've been practicing for a while, see if you can come up onto your tippy toes. If you're newer, you can come down onto your knees. If you've been practicing for a while, maybe come up into that plank. So your back is straight, shoulders stack over your wrists, big breath in, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Lovely. So your feet and your hands don't move at all. Come into your plank, finding two more of those. Pull the pit of your belly in, engaging your core. Downward facing dog. One more here, coming into your plank pose. Finding your downward facing dog, big breath out. 
rooting down into your firm foundation. Soften your face and your forehead. Bring your gaze in between your ankles or maybe simply close your eyes. We're just gonna take a few more big breaths here. It's really lengthening. Breathing into those tight spaces. Finding that sacred space with God. Come up onto your tippy toes and tiptoe super slow. No rush to get there. All the way up towards the top of your mat, fighting your forward fold. Take your feet about hip width, bend your knees. You can take a bind here if you'd like, holding on to your elbows, or you can simply just let your head and your arms hang. See if you can really soften your jaw, maybe even open up your mouth, let it all go. Let go of your bind. Lift and spread your toes. Ground down into that firm foundation and then rise up with your palms, reaching up, looking up. Spread your fingers, big breath in. And then exhale, hands to heart center. You bring your hands onto your heart. What does this sacred space look like for you personally as we enter into our day three of yoga? Just coming up for you in this space. Are you meditating on Psalm 23, 2 to 3, or thinking of your own scripture that you love or your own sacred word? Just being here in that space, whatever that looks like for you personally. Flutter your eyes open, bring your palms by your sides, and just set yourself up here. So both feet are on 12 o'clock. This is all a practice. So see if you can keep both of your feet pointing forward. Lift and spread your toes. Bend your knees just a tad, so they're not super bent like chair pose. You got a little bit of a bend, Nothing, not like you're locking out the knees, so you're not standing up completely straight. Your knees are just a little bit locked here, or bent here. Pull the pit of your belly in towards your belly button, so your low back is flat. Bring your palms by your sides. Pull your shoulders down your back. Reach the crown of your head towards the sky. Coming into your mountain pose, big breath in. And then sigh it out. We're gonna find two more sun salutation A's together, or you can move at your own pace. So reach your palms high. Hands to purse center full. Halfway lift, flat back, just like we did yesterday. We're bringing your hands to your shins, flat back. Press your palms into the mat, step your right foot and then your left. Big breath in, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. So lovely. Finding two more of those, either together or at your own pace. So bring your gaze in between your hands, walk all the way up. Half, halfway lift, finding the flow. Pull. Ground down into your feet, roots arise, reaching your palms high. So lovely. Hands to purse center, full. Halfway lift. Find your flow. Step your right foot, step your left. Inhale, upward facing dog. Roll your shoulders away. Downward facing dog. Taking a few breaths here. Just finding that natural ebb and flow. Finding one more sun salutation to get together. We're going at your own pace. Come all the way up towards the top of your mat. Halfway lift, fold. Root to rise, reaching up. Spread your fingers, maybe add that back bend. Hands to purse center, fold. Big halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, find your flow. Step your right foot, your left. Coming into your downward facing dog. See if you can roll your shoulders down your back, glue your elbows by your side. 
moving through your table. Big exhale, downward facing dog. So beautiful. Bring both of your feet together. Raise your right leg high towards the sky, squaring your hips towards the mat. Flex your right foot. Step your right foot in between your hands, coming into your low lunge. So we're just gonna move through a little cat and cow lunge. So we're gonna do, this is more so the modified version. And then we're gonna do the more um, advanced version after this one. So reach your gaze high towards the sky. Square your hips towards the mat. Stack your knee over your ankle. Big breath in. And then exhale. Bring your hips towards the back of your mat. Straighten your right knee. Flex your right foot. Pinch your fingertips on either side of your right leg. And then gently move through two more of those. So inhale. Moving into your cow lunge. Exhale, cat. Finding your breath. One more here, inhale, cow, and then exhale, cat. So beautiful. Coming back up, reach your palms high towards the sky, and just finding a little twist here. Reach your right arm back behind you, your left in front. Spread your fingers, big breath in. Exhale, reach it up. Finding that other side, right in front, left behind. See if you can kind of square your hips towards the front of the mat, really breathing into your hips here. And then reaching back up. Reach your hands high towards the sky, maybe even add a little bit of a back bend, sinking into that right knee. And then find your angel wings. Spread your fingers, open up your heart, big breath in. And then exhale, reach it back up. Bring your palms on either side of your right leg. Step back onto that left, those left toes back there and reach your right leg back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Big breath out, moving through your table. Downward facing dog, so beautiful. Just taking a pause here. Finding a few breaths in your downward facing dog or taking child's pose if you need it always an option for you. Psalm 119 41 says, may your tender love overwhelm me, O Lord, for you are my savior. You keep your promises. So just allowing this tender love of God to wash over you. Gently make your way over to your other side, reaching your left leg high towards the sky, square your hips towards the mat. Step your left foot in between your hands and just finding that same little flow on the other side now. Reach your gaze high towards the sky. Knee stacked over your ankle, moving into your cow lunge. And then gently find your cat. Straighten that left knee, flex your left foot. Finding two more here. Inhale, reaching up, looking it up towards the sky, breathing into that right hip, coming back to your cat lunge. Arch your back just a tad, flex your left foot. Finding one more. Moving into your cat. Slowly coming into your lunge, reach your palms up high, extend your right arm back or in front of you, your left behind, spread your fingers, <clears throat> reach it up. Coming into the other side, finding that twist, so lovely. Spread your fingers here and then reach it back up. Maybe add a little bit of a back bend. Coming into your angel wings, spread your fingers, open your heart, Open up and let that light in, big breath in. And then exhale, reach it back up, bring your hands down, step your left foot back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, so beautiful. Taking 
taking a few big breaths here. Come up onto your tippy toes and come all the way up towards the top of your mat here. Halfway lift, fold. Ground down into your feet, root to rise, reaching your palms high. Spread your fingers. Bring both of your feet together and make your way to your chair. Pull the pit of your belly in towards your belly button. Check out your toes. Make sure you can still see them. Lift and spread your toes. Breathe deeply here. Back to the sacred space, even through the tension. Maybe sinking just a little bit lower here. Bring your hands to heart center. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Moving through your flow. Step your right foot, then your left. Inhale, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. So finding that same flow, you can either choose to do just like we did, or you can take it up a notch and um, make it a little bit more more difficult or advanced, if you would say. So bring both of your feet together, raise your right leg high, step your right foot in between your hands. So you can choose to keep that knee down or you can choose to um, have it lifted. So tent your fingertips on either side of your right leg, reach your gaze high towards the side, coming into that cow lunge, big breath in. And then exhale, moving to your cat. You can choose to bring that knee down and do like we just did, or come up on both of your feet here, arch your back towards the sky, hinge over your right leg, inhale, and then exhale back to your cow lunge. Finding two more here, inhale to your cow or your cat. Exhale to cow lunge. Finding one more here, inhale. And then exhale, so beautiful. Finding your regular low lunge, staying here if you'd like to, or reach your palms up high. Spread your fingers, stack your knee over your ankle, reach your right arm back behind you, just coming into that twist. Spread your fingers, you're doing great. Reach your palms back up, coming into that other side. Knee is facing the front of the mat. Reach your palms up, coming into your angel wings. Spread your fingers, open your heart, big breath in. And then exhale, come back up. Bring your palms on either side of your right leg. Choosing to stay right here, choosing to bring that knee down if you need a break, or finding standing splits. So root down into that right foot, and then extend your left leg, making sure, so a little high, not like super high, you wanna make sure your hips are still square here. Bend your right knee just a tap. If you want a little bit more, you can take that right hand and hold onto your ankle, hinging over your right leg. Feeling that deep stretch in your right thigh. Big breath here. Exhale. You want just a little bit more. Bend your left knee and bring it to the back of your right knee. Squeezing in, bending your knees. Inhale. Exhale, kick it back up. Finding two more of those. Inhale, bringing that top of your left knee to the back of your right. Exhale, you're doing great. One more, inhaling. And then exhale, kick it back up. Step your left foot to match your right forward fold. Take a wide-legged forward fold here. Take your middle finger and your pointer finger, wrap it around your big toe, and just kind of hinge over your hips here if your flexibility allows, and shake your head yes and no. into that, that luxurious love of God. Into that sacred space. Bringing one more big breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. Gently let go of your body. Bring both of your feet together, finding that same flow on the other side. So finding your chair pose, sinking just a little bit deeper here, maybe adjusting yourself. So really pull the pit of your belly in. Root down into your feet. Lift and spread your toes. 
reach your palms up high. We're here together, big breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, flat back. Press your palms into the mat. Step your right foot and then your left. Inhale, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, beautiful. Bring that left leg high towards the sky. Square your hips towards the mat. Spread your fingers. Step your left foot in between your hands. Either coming into that low lunge, finding that same flow we did earlier, kicking it up a notch, and coming in and bringing that knee off the ground there. Reach your gaze towards the sky. Big breath in. Exhale, cat lunge. Two more, moving into your cow lunge. Back to your cat, arch your back towards the sky, straighten your left knee. Finding one more here, cow lunge. To cat. So beautiful. Coming into your cow lunge, reach your gaze high towards the sky with your palms. Big breath in. Spread your fingers, reach your right arm in front, your left behind. Coming into that twist, reach it back up. Bring your left in front, your right behind. You're doing great. Reach it back up. Finding those angel wings. Spread your fingers. Feel your heart towards the sky. Big breath in. Exhale, reach it back up. So beautiful. Bring your palms on either side of your left leg. Bring that knee down if you need a pause or root down into that left foot and kick your right foot up. So the idea is not to go super high. Naturally, we're like, oh, I'm gonna reach my leg high towards the sky. No, no. You wanna make sure your hips are square. So just like an airplane pose, but you're hinging over that left leg. You can point or flex that, that right foot back there if you want to. You can hold on with your left hand to your ankle there. Really breathing into that left hip, left thigh rather. Bend your left knee. Staying here, we're bringing your knee, your right knee to the back of your left knee, squeezing it in, inhale. Exhale, kick it back up, finding two more. Inhale, exhale, you're doing great. One more, inhale, exhale, so beautiful. Simply step your right to match your left. Finding your forward fold once more. Take your feet about hip width. You can find that, that pointer and middle finger toe hold, or you can find gorilla pose if you wanna step on your hands if your flexibility allows. You're just kind of stepping onto your palms. And what I like to do personally is I like to wiggle my toes. So I kind of massage that meaty part of my thumb. Or you can just find a regular forward fold. Breathe into your lower back. Finding a few more breaths here. Letting go of your bind. Ground down into your feet and root to rise. Reaching your palms high, spread your fingers. And then bring your hands to prayer center. So just setting up for a few bits, a little bit of balancing poses. So rooting down into your left foot. Bring your right knee in towards your chest. You can choose to stay right here. Or if you want a little bit more, I'm gonna just turn so I can show you this way. If you want a little bit more, you can take that knee and bring it out to the side. So see if you can really square your hips towards the top of your mat. Left foot's on 12 o'clock. So taking that knee out, extend that left arm out long, just finding a little bit of balance here. Big breath in. Exhale. Staring at one spot that's not moving in front of you. Gently come back to center. Maybe taking a pause, bringing that knee down, or giving it a little squeeze, and see if you can just kick it back into your airplane. So if you need to bring it down, you can. Stay okay. Grab your blocks if you need them. They're there to help you. So coming into your airplane here, extend that right leg long. You can use the blocks to elevate the floor. You can bring your palms right by your sides. So they're literally like right by your hips. And so beams of light are just pointing back towards the back of your mat. Your left foot's on 12 o'clock, your hips are square. Big breath in. 
Exhale, side out. One more inhale. Exhale, reach that left hand to a block, coming into your half moon. Reach your right hand towards your hip, maybe looking down for more stability. Or taking it up a notch, reach your right hand high towards the sky. Flex your right foot. Your gaze is either towards the side wall or maybe looking up towards that right hand. One more inhale. Exhale, let it go, fullest expression. Coming back to your airplane, maybe finding your blocks. Bring that right knee, you can bring that right foot down or maybe if you've been practicing for a while, see if you can just bring that knee right in towards your chest. So beautiful. Using a chair or wall for some support. And then find your eagle. Wrap your right leg over your left. Wrap your right arm underneath your left arm, really practicing some balance here. Deepen the bend in your left knee, big breath in. Exhale, sink just a little bit lower. Sack your elbows in line with your shoulders. Inhaling. And then exhale, letting it go, coming back to mountain pose. Maybe finding palm tree pose and swaying back and forth. Closing your eyes. And then gently coming back to center, finding that same flow on the other side. So if you're new to yoga, maybe just see what it feels like to balance on your right foot. So maybe just finding, I always like to call it like flamingo pose, just kind of put your, so moving onto the right side now. So root down into your right foot. Maybe just see what it feels like to even balance on your right foot. So maybe just lift the left foot up. Bring it back down. Maybe use a chair or a wall if you need some support. So just finding that other side. Bring your knee in towards your chest. Give it a squeeze. Maybe staying here, open up that hip. Extend your right arm out long. Flex your left foot. Square your hips towards the front of your mat. Soften your gaze. So just notice what's happening in your face and your forehead. One more inhale. Exhale, come back to center. You know where we're going, moving into your airplane pose. Right foot's on 12 o'clock, extend your right leg out long, spread your fingers. Use your blocks if you need them. Bend your right knee, just a tad. Right foot's on 12 o'clock. Move into your half moon, right hand on your block or to the floor. See if you can really keep that right foot on 12 o'clock. Bring your left hand toward your hip. Maybe just open up your hips towards the left side. Looking down or reaching that left hand high. Maybe take your gaze up there too. Flex your left foot. Fullest expression here. Big breath in. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale back to your airplane. Maybe using your blocks if you need them. They're there to help you or bring your palms by your side. Flex your left foot and kick your heel just a little bit higher. See if you can bring that knee in towards your chest. Bring it down if you need to. Bring your knee in towards your chest. Give it a squeeze. You're doing great. Finding your eagle. Wrap your left over your right left underneath your right arm, finding your balance here, staring at one spot in front of you that's not moving. Sink just a little bit deeper, squeezing in tight, big breath in. Exhale, one more inhale, squeezing it all in. And then exhale, finding your mountain pose. Finding palm tree, you're just standing in your mountain. So beautiful, so lovely. And then gently come back to your mountain pose. Both feet on 12 o'clock. Coming up towards the top of your mat, finding one little flow on either side. So last one, make it your best yet. Bring your palms high towards the sky, inhale. Exhale, hands to prayer center fold. Halfway lift, press your palms into the mat. Step your right foot and then your left. Inhale, upward facing dog. Moving through your table, downward facing dog. So lovely. So we're gonna find a short little flow on either side. 
So bring both of your feet together, raise your left leg high. Step your left foot in between your hands, coming into your warrior one. Hips are square towards the front of the mat. Warrior two, stack your shoulders over your hips. Reverse your warrior. So beautiful, breathing into your side body. Deepen the bend in your left knee. Simply straighten your left knee, coming into your triangle pose, but really setting yourself up here. So just hinge right over that left leg, making sure you're not dumping, using a block if you like, or bring your hand towards your shin. Lift and spread your toes. Open up. Relaxing in his luxurious love. Pausing in his presence. Windmill that right hand all the way down, coming into a wide-legged forward fold. Take your hips or your heels out a little wider. Bend your knees and just sink down, letting your head hang, shaking it yes or no. Breathing deep and full. Gently make your way towards the back of your mat, finding warrior one, finding your last little flow here. Facing the back of your mat now, warrior one here. Hips are square, warrior two, finding your last flow. Pull the pit of your belly in, stack your hips over your shoulders, or your shoulders over your hips. Reverse your warrior, coming into your peace warrior, deep in the bend in your right knee. Breathe into your side body. Big breath here. Exhale. Deepen the bend in your right knee just a tad more, and then slowly coming into your triangle pose. Bump that left foot up just a tad. Hinge right over your right leg. Extend that left hand high. Big breath in. Exhale, windmill that left hand all the way down, finding your wide-legged forward fold, maybe interlacing your palms behind you and find a bind. Really breathing into your shoulders here. Finding a few more breaths in and out. And then gently make your way back towards the top of your mat. Step your left foot back. Finding your last flow here. Inhale, upward facing dog. Let it all go, downward facing dog. So lovely. Breathing into this downward facing dog. Choosing to come onto your back for figure four, where you can just bend your knee and bring your, the outside of your ankle to your left knee or come into your half pigeon. You wanna flow into that, you can reach your right leg high, bring your knee towards your wrist. Walk your left foot back, making sure that left foot is pointed straight back. Flex your right foot. Really getting into that hip and then just hinge over your right leg. Finding your half pigeon on the right side. Finding about five or six big breaths here. Psalm 26, 8 says, Lord, I love your home, this place of dazzling glory, bathed in splendor and the light of your presence.
soften your face and your forehead and your jaw. So you get two, a few more breaths here in your half pigeon or your figure four. And then gently make your way onto your other side. Maybe finding your downward facing dog, reach your left leg high. Bring your left knee in towards your, your left wrist there and just set up for your figure or your um, half pigeon on the left side. Maybe rock side to side and just hinge over your left leg. about five or six big breaths here. Psalm 26, three says, I will never lose sight of your love for me. Your faithfulness has steadied my steps. a few more breaths here in and out breathing through the tension Whenever you're ready, gently make your way to your seat. Just finding your forward fold. If you want to grab your blocks, you can bring them right next to your knees. Root down into your sits bones here, making sure that access stuff is out of the way. So maybe rock side to side. Roll your shoulders down your back. Flex your feet and then just simply hinge over your hips. Maybe bending your knees a little bit deeper. Take your palms and face them up. Maybe laying them on your blocks. And just hinge over your hips, finding a few breaths here in and out. Relaxing the whole body. One more big, expansive breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. Bring the palms of your feet onto the mat. Hold on to underneath your thighs and then roll all the way down onto your back. Bring your knees in towards your chest and maybe just simply rock side to side, giving your back a low massage there. Bend your legs towards the sky. You can find a wall if you'd like. Finding your waterfall. Maybe pointing and flexing your feet. Rolling your ankles. Just get out all the wiggles. And then face your palms towards the sky. And just find rest here. I 
Finding a few breaths in and out, relaxing the whole body. Proverbs 3, 3 says, hold on to loyal love. Don't let it go. Be faithful to all that you've been taught. Let your life be shaped by integrity, with truth written upon your heart. More breaths here in and out. Choosing to stay here for as long as you would like to, or bring the palms of your feet together. Take your knees out wide. You can grab your blocks if you like, kind of bring them on either side of your knees here. Bring one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. Relaxing the whole body. He offers a resting place for me in his luxurious love. His tracks take me to an oasis of peace quiet brook of bliss. That's where he restores and revives my life. He opens before me pathways to God's pleasure and leads me along in his footsteps of righteousness so that I can bring honor to his name. Using to linger in this pose for as long as you would like to, even for the remainder of class if you would like. Or bring your knees in toward your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Knees over to one side, supine twist. Breathing deep and full here. your way over to your other side, finding your last little twist here. Come back to center. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a big squeeze, squeezing it all in, big breath in. And then exhale, finding your Shavasana. Face your palms towards the sky. Point your toes a little more outward. Face your chin towards the sky. And just take one more big feeling breath here. Open the mouth and sigh it out. Shavasana.
Find a big deep breath here. Exhale, sigh it out. Find your feel good morning stretch or choose to stay exactly where you are for as long as you would like to. Roll over to one side, bring your knees in towards your chest, yourself a hug. Thanking God for all the blessings, thanking him for his luxurious love. Thank yourself for showing up today. Make your way to your seat, bring your hands onto your heart, close your eyes. Find your big, deep breath here. And then sigh it out. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for this sacred, holy space. Thank you for your luxurious love, this quiet, work of bliss, oasis of peace. Help us to find this space not only on our mats, but in our everyday life. Not only find it, but actually live it. Help us to be more like you. Match our hearts to yours. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today. Day three of our yoga challenge is now complete. Great job over there. Um, we'll be back. Why are we back? <laughs> um, day four for tomorrow for the Restore class. I love the restore class. Um, you'll need like a pillow or a blanket or some blocks if you want. And then we're also meeting 11 o'clock tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow uh, for the book club. If anybody still wants to join, it's not too late to join in on that.